Welcome back to A20 Special Relativity. So in this section, we want to look again at collisions and study momentum conservation. And so we have this scenario here in which we have you know, two balls colliding with velocities ua and ub, masses ma and mb. Um, and after the collisions there, the masses change to mc and md, and the velocities are uc and ud. Momentum, momentum conservation tells you that the product of the mass and velocities and the sum of the two particles before and after the collisions is the same. But now what happens if we boost the system? If we uh, look at the very same system with a boosted reference frame, um, you know, and, and we can just you know, simplify the case here by just considering the x direction. So the question is, if momentum is conserved in a frame S, like the one we are looking here in this picture, is the momentum also conserved in a moving reference frame with, with relative velocity uh, u, uh, v. And so you can show this quite easily um, that this is actually not the case, right? So you write down the velocities, um, uh, the, the momentum equation, the, the same equation as before with boosted velocities, and you find that this is not the case. You can easily show this by, for example, you know, setting the right part of this equation to zero and see uh, whether or not this, this equation will hold true in general, and it doesn't. But in the last section, we introduced the new concept of proper velocity. So how about redefining momentum through proper velocity and just saying ma times proper velocity a plus mb times proper velocity b is equal to mc times proper velocity c and so on and see whether or not we can learn something from this equation. So why don't we write down this very same equation and with proper velocity and see whether or not it's invariant in the Lorentz transformation. Okay, again, a good moment to stop the video and just work out the mass by yourself on your own. So I did this here um, and I'm just doing this for the X component. So we have our proper velocity vector, which is gamma times Z, uh, gamma times UX, gamma times UY and gamma times UZ. And so the X component is the first component um, and in the boosted reference frame, the uh, proper velocity of the x component in our boosted frame is gamma times the proper velocity of the particle A, first component, minus beta, proper velocity of A, zeroth component. And so then you can write your equation. And this should be our momentum, energy momentum conservation equation. Okay, and the Lorentz transformation we find this one here. And so all we need to do now in order to show that this is always true or true in general is to reassign, relabel, um, the, reorder the individual terms. And I did this here um, to make this visible. You see everything behind in this bracket behind the beta is equal to the equation we had before. There's a minus sign in between, which means it's zero. And everything we see on the top for the first component is also be zero. That's for the re boosted reference frame. So we see here, and I just showed this for the x component. You can show this for all components that momentum is conserved.